Okay, so here we are. This is March 11th, 2011. And our location is in Japan. I've done those settings over here. So this is what is going on in the sky on that day. Turn the constellations back on. You can see Mars right here in Aquarius, right on that water, the water bear stream. The sun is just entering Pisces, Uranus, Mercury, and Jupiter all right here in Pisces. And here's the big beast down here. This is Pisces, Aries over here. So when the big tsunami earthquake happened in Japan on that day, what was happening up in the sky, you can see it right here. So first of all, we're, we're in the age of water. We're in the age of Pisces and we're seeing a lot of flooding. And this tsunami came through while all this is going on. So Uranus, is very interesting right now Uranus is like right here so it's still in Pisces and it's about to go to Aries and that means fire so we hear about a lot of you know stuff about fire coming to cleanse the planet and things like that so the moon was in Taurus on that day and that's a big earth sign you know, we think think about the earthquake that happened that day. And Jupiter and Mercury are super interesting because they're in Pisces as well. And their influences on that day were right there, right on this bee's tail. Not too fond of Jupiter and Mercury right now with what I'm hearing, what I'm learning. So it's interesting, this whole arrangement on that day so you know i'm going to look up some other dates and make up your own mind about you know how this affects what happens on the earth and we'll see if we can connect the dots on some other days with some other events that have happened apparently the flood the great flood happened in cancer which is a cardinal water sign and a you know another age of water and uh, cardinal signs are known as you know a destroyer sign as well so apparently the great flood happened around this time anyway that's it for now